quicksort, or partition exchange sort, is a sorting algorithm developed by Tony Hall that, on average, makes O, na loca n, comparisons to sort n items. In the worst case, it makes O, n2, comparisons, though this behavior is rare. Quicksort is often faster in practice than other O, na loca n, algorithms. Additionally, Quicksort sequential and localized memory references work well with a cache. Quicksort is a comparison sort and, in efficient implementations, is not a stable sort. Quicksort can be implemented with an in-place partitioning algorithm, so the entire sort can be done with only O, logo N, additional space used by the stack during the recursion. History The Quicksort algorithm was developed in 1960 by Tony Hall while in the Soviet Union as a visiting student at Moscow State University. At that time, Hall worked in a project on machine translation for the National Physical Laboratory. He developed the algorithm in order to sort the words to be translated, to make them more easily match to an already sorted Russian to English dictionary that was stored on magnetic tape. Quicksort gained widespread adoption, appearing, for example, in Unix as the default library sort function whence it lent its name to the C standard library function QSORT and in the reference implementation of Java. It was analyzed extensively by Robert Sedgwick, who wrote his Ph.D. thesis about the algorithm and suggested several improvements. Algorithm Quicksort is a divide-and-conquer algorithm. Quicksort first divides a large array into two smaller subarray, the low elements and the high elements. Quicksort can then recursively sort the subarrays. The steps are, pick an element, called a pivot, from the array. Reorder the array so that all elements with values less than the pivot come before the pivot, while all elements with values greater than the pivot come after it. After this partitioning, the pivot is in its final position. This is called the partition operation. Recursively apply the above steps to the subarray of elements with smaller values and separately to the subarray of elements with greater values. The base case of the recursion is arrays of size 0 or 1, which never need to be sorted. In pseudocode, a quicksort that sorts elements i through k of an array a can be expressed compactly as. Sorting the entire array is accomplished by calling quicksort a 1 length a. The partition operation is step 2 from the description in English, above. It can be defined as Left is the index of the leftmost element of the subarray, right is the index of the rightmost element of the subarray, number of elements in subarray equals right left plus 1, partition, array, left, right, pivot index, equals choose pivot, array, left, right, pivot value, equals array, pivot index, swap array, Pivot index in array, right, store index, equals left, for i from left to right, 1, if array, i, a per mil currency pivot value, swap array, i, and array, store index, store index, equals store index plus 1, swap array, store index in array, right move pivot to its final place, return store index. This is the in place partition algorithm. It partitions the portion of the array between indexes left and right, inclusively, by moving all elements less than or equal array, pivot index before the pivot, and the greater elements after it. In the process it also finds the final position for the pivot element, which it returns. It temporarily moves the pivot element to the end of the subarray, so that it doesn't get in the way. Because it only uses exchanges, the final list has the same elements as the original list. Notice that an element may be exchanged multiple times before reaching its final place. Also, in case of pivot duplicates in the input array, they can be spread across the right subarray, in any order. This doesn't represent a partitioning failure, as further sorting will reposition and finally glue them together. This form of the partition algorithm is not the original form. Multiple variations can be found in various textbooks, such as versions not having the store index. However, this form is probably the easiest to understand. Each recursive call to the combined quicksort function reduces the size of the array being sorted by at least one element, since in each invocation the element at pivot new index is placed in its final position. Therefore, 
this algorithm is guaranteed to terminate after at most n recursive calls. However, since partition reorders elements within a partition, this version of quicksort is not a stable sort. Implementation issues, choice of pivot, in very early versions of quicksort, the leftmost element of the partition would often be chosen as the pivot element. Unfortunately, this causes worst-case behavior on already sorted arrays, which is a rather common use case. The problem was easily solved by choosing either a random index for the pivot, choosing the middle index of the partition or choosing the median of the first, middle and last element of the partition for the pivot. This median of three rule count is the case of sorted input, and gives a better estimate of the optimal pivot than selecting any single element, when no information about the ordering of the inputs is known. Selecting a pivot element is also complicated by the existence of integer overflow. If the boundary indices of the subarray being sorted are sufficiently large, the Norvay expression for the middle index, slash 2, will cause overflow and provide an invalid pivot index. This can be overcome by using, for example, left plus slash 2 to index the middle element, at the cost of more complex arithmetic. Similar issues arise in some other methods of selecting the pivot element. Repeated elements, with a partitioning algorithm such as the one described above, quicksort exhibits poor performance for inputs that contain many repeated elements. The problem is clearly apparent when all the input elements are equal, at each recursion, the left partition is empty, and the right partition has only decreased by one element. Consequently, the algorithm takes quadratic time to sort an array of equal values. To solve this quicksort equivalent of the Dutch national flag problem, an alternative linear time partition routine can be used that separates the values into three groups, values less than the pivot, values equal to the pivot, and values greater than the pivot. The values equal to the pivot are already sorted, so only the less than and greater than partitions need to be recursively sorted. In pseudocode, the quicksort algorithm becomes function quicksort, a, low, high, if low high, p equals pivot, a, low, high, left, right equals partition, a, p, low, high, note, multiple return values, quicksort, a, low, left, quicksort, a, right, high. The best case for the algorithm now occurs when all elements are equal. In the case of all equal elements, the modified quicksort will perform at most two recursive calls on empty subarrays and thus finish in linear time. Optimizations, two other important optimizations, also suggested by Sedgwick and widely used in practice are, to make sure at most O, log N, space is used, recurse first into the smaller side of the partition, then use a tail call to recurse into the other. Use insertion sort, which has a smaller constant factor and is thus faster on small arrays, for invocations on small arrays. This can be implemented by simply stopping the recursion when less than k elements are left, leaving the entire array k sorted. Each element will be at most k positions away from its final position. Then, a single insertion sort pass finishes the sort in O, car, n, time. A separate insertion sort of each small segment as they are identified adds the overhead of starting and stopping many small sorts but avoids wasting effort comparing keys across the many segment boundaries, which keys will be in order due to the workings of the quicksort process. Parallelization, like merge sort, quicksort can also be parallelized due to its divide and conquer nature. Individual and place partition operations are difficult to parallelize, but once divided, different sections of the list can be sorted in parallel. The following is a straightforward approach, if we have processes, we can divide a list of elements into sublists in O, N, average time, then sort each of these in average time. Ignoring the O, N, preprocessing and merge times, this is linear speed up. If the split is blind, ignoring the values, the merge Norvelli costs O, N. If the split partitions based on a succession of pivots, it is tricky to parallelize and Norvelli costs O, N. Given O, log N, or more processes, only O, N, time is required overall, whereas an approach with linear speed up would achieve O, log N, time for overall. 
One advantage of this simple parallel quicksort over other parallel sort algorithms is that no synchronization is required, but the disadvantage is that sorting is still O, N, and only a sublinear speed up of O, log N, is achieved. A new thread is started as soon as a sublist is available for it to work on and it does not communicate with other threads. When all threads complete, the sort is done. Other more sophisticated parallel sorting algorithms can achieve even better time bounds. For example, in 1991 David Powers described a parallelized quicksort that can operate in O, log N, time on a CRCW pram with N processors by performing partitioning implicitly. Formal analysis, average case analysis using discrete probability, to sort an array of N distinct elements, quicksort takes O, and log N, time in expection, averaged over all n. Permutations of n elements with equal probability. Why? For a start, it is not hard to see that the partition operation takes o, n, time. In the most unbalanced case, each time we perform a partition we divide the list into two sublists of size 0 and n a 1. This means each recursive call processes a list of size 1 less than the previous list. Consequently, we can make n a 1 nested calls before we reach a list of size 1. This means that the call tree is a linear chain of n a 1 nested calls. The if call does o, n a i, work to do the partition, and, so in that case quicksort takes o, now squared time. That is the worst case, given knowledge of which comparisons are performed by the sort. There are adaptive algorithms that are effective at generating worst case input for quicksort on the fly regardless of the pivot selection strategy. In the most balanced case, each time we perform a partition we divide the list into two nearly equal pieces. This means each recursive call processes a list of half the size. Consequently, we can make only log n nested calls before we reach a list of size 1. This means that the depth of the call tree is log n. But no two calls at the same level of the call tree process the same part of the original list. Thus, each level of calls needs only O, N, time altogether calls at each level, this is subsumed in the O, N, factor. The result is that the algorithm uses only O, and log N, time. In fact, it's not necessary to be perfectly balanced. Even if each pivot splits the elements with 75% on one side and 25% on the other side, the call depth is still limited to, so the total running time is still O, and log n. So what happens on average? If the pivot has ranked somewhere in the middle 50%, that is, between the 25th percentile and the 75th percentile, then it splits the elements with at least 25% and at most 75% on each side. If we could consistently choose a pivot from the two middle 50%, we would only have to split the list at most times before reaching lists of size 1, yielding an O, and log n, algorithm. When the input is a random permutation, the pivot has a random rank, and so it is not guaranteed to be in the middle 50%. However, when we start from a random permutation, in each recursive call the pivot has a random rank in its list, and so it is in the middle 50% about half the time. That is good enough. Imagine that you flip a coin, heads means that the rank of the pivot is in the middle 50%, tail means that it isn't. Imagine that you are flipping a coin over and over until you get k heads. Although this could take a long time, on average only 2k flips are required, and the chance that you won't get k heads after 100k flips is highly improbable. By the same argument, quicksort's recursion will terminate on average at a call depth of only. But if its average call depth is O, log N, and each level of the call tree processes at most N elements, the total amount of work done on average is the product, O, and log N. Note that the algorithm does not have to verify that the pivot is in the middle half a euro if we hit it any constant fraction of the times, that is enough for the desired complexity. Average case analysis using recurrences, an alternative approach is to set up a recurrence relation for the T, N, factor, the time needed to sort a list of size N. In the most unbalanced case, a single quicksort call involves O, N, work plus two recursive calls on lists of size 0 and now 1, so the recurrence relation is 
this is the same relation as for insertion sort and selection sort, and it solves to worst case t, n, equals O, now squared. In the most balanced case, a single quicksort call involves O, n, work plus two recursive calls on lists of size n slash two, so the recurrence relation is. The master theorem tells us that t, n, equals O, and log n. The outline of a formal proof of the O, and log n, expected time complexity follows. Assume that there are no duplicates as duplicates could be handled with linear time pre and post processing, or considered cases easier than the analyzed. When the input is a random permutation, the rank of the pivot is uniform random from 0 to NA1. Then the resulting parts of the partition have sizes I and NAIA1, and I is uniform random from 0 to NA1. So, averaging over all possible splits and noting that the number of comparisons for the partition is NA1, the average number of comparisons over all permutations of the input sequence can be estimated accurately by solving the recurrence relation. Solving the recurrence gives C, N, equals 2 N L N N A per mil 1.39 N logo N. This means that, on average, quicksort performs only about 39% worse than in its best case. In this sense it is closer to the best case than the worst case. Also note that a comparison sort cannot use less than logo N. Comparisons on average to sort N items and in case of large N, Sterling's approximation yields logo N. A per mil N, logo N A logo E, so quicksort is not much worse than an ideal comparison sort. This fast average runtime is another reason for quicksort's practical dominance over other sorting algorithms. Solving the recurrence using mathematical induction. Assertion A, M, A for all M A per mil 1 yen base case A, 0, A holds for B A per mil yen C induction step A assuming A, M, holds for all M, N, we have to prove A, N. Analysis of randomized quicksort, using the same analysis, one can show that randomized quicksort has the desirable property that, for any input, it requires only O, and log N, expected time. However, there also exists a combinatorial proof. To each execution of quicksort corresponds the following binary search tree, the initial pivot is the root node. The pivot of the left half is the root of the left subtree, the pivot of the right half is the root of the right subtree, and so on. The number of comparisons of the execution of quicksort equals the number of comparisons during the construction of the BST by a sequence of insertions. So, the average number of comparisons for randomized quicksort equals the average cost of constructing a BST when the values inserted form a random permutation. Consider a BST created by insertion of a sequence of values forming a random permutation. Let C denote the cost of creation of the BST. We have, where is a binary random variable expressing whether during the insertion of there was a comparison to. By linearity of expectation, the expected value of C is. Fix I and J, I. The values, once sorted, define J plus 1 intervals. The core structural observation is that is compared to in the algorithm if and only if falls inside one of the two intervals adjacent to. Observe that since is a random permutation, is also a random permutation, so the probability that is adjacent to is exactly. We end with a short calculation, space complexity, the space used by quicksort depends on the version used. The in-place version of quicksort has a space complexity of O, log N, even in the worst case, when it is carefully implemented using the following strategies, in-place partitioning is used. This unstable partition requires O, 1, space. After partitioning, the partition with the fewest elements is sorted first, requiring at most O, log N, space. Then the other partition is sorted using tail recursion or iteration, which doesn't add to the call stack. This idea, as discussed above, was described by R. Sedgwick, and keeps the stack depth bounded by O, log N. Quicksort within place and unstable partitioning uses only constant additional space before making any recursive call. Quicksort must store a constant amount of information for each nested recursive call. Since the best case makes at most O, log N, nested recursive calls, 
it uses O, log N, space. However, without Sedgwick's trick to limit the recursive calls, in the worst case quicksort could make O, N, nested recursive calls and need O, N, auxiliary space. From a bit complexity viewpoint, variables such as left and right do not use constant space. It takes O, log N, bits to index into a list of N items. Because there are such variables in every stack frame, quicksort using Sedgwick's trick requires O log N, R squared bits of space. This space requirement isn't too terrible, though, since if the list contained distinct elements, it would need at least O, N log N, bits of space. Another, less common, not in place, version of quicksort uses O, N, space for working storage and can implement a stable sort. The working storage allows the input array to be easily partitioned in a stable manner and then copied back to the input array for successive recursive calls. Sedgwick's optimization is still appropriate. Relation to other algorithms, quicksort is a space-optimized version of the binary tree sort. Instead of inserting items sequentially into an explicit tree, quicksort organizes them concurrently into a tree that is implied by the recursive calls. The algorithms make exactly the same comparisons, but in a different order. An often desirable property of a sorting algorithm is stability, that is the order of elements that compare equal is not changed, allowing controlling order of multi-key tables in a natural way. This property is hard to maintain for in-situ quicksort. For variant quicksorts involving extra memory due to representations using pointers or files, it is trivial to maintain stability. The more complex, or disk-bound, data structures tend to increase time cost, in general making increasing use of virtual memory or disk. The most direct competitor of quicksort is heap sort. Heap sort's worst case running time is always O, and log N. But, heap sort is assumed to be on average somewhat slower than standard in place quicksort. This is still debated and in research, with some publications indicating the opposite. Intrasort is a variant of quicksort that switches to heap sort when a bad case is detected to avoid quicksort's worst case running time. If it is known in advance that heap sort is going to be necessary, using it directly will be faster than waiting for intrasort to switch to it. Quicksort also competes with merge sort, another recursive sort algorithm but with the benefit of worst case O, and log N, running time. Merge sort is a stable sort unlike standard in-place quicksort and heap sort, and can be easily adapted to operate on linked lists and very large lists stored on slow-to-access media such as disk storage or network-attached storage. Although quicksort can easily be implemented as a stable sort using linked lists, it will often suffer from poor pivot choices without random access. The main disadvantage of merge sort is that, when operating on arrays, efficient implementations require O, N auxiliary space, whereas the variant of quicksort within place partitioning and tail recursion uses only O, log N, space. Bucket sort with two buckets is very similar to quicksort. The pivot in this case is effectively the value in the middle of the value range, which does well on average for uniformly distributed inputs. Selection-based pivoting, a selection algorithm chooses the kth smallest of a list of numbers. This is an easier problem in general than sorting. One simple but effective selection algorithm works nearly in the same manner as quicksort, and is accordingly known as quickselect. The difference is that instead of making recursive calls on both sublists, it only makes a single tail recursive call on the sublist which contains the desired element. This change lowers the average complexity to linear or O, N, time, which is optimal for selection, but worst case time is still O, N2. A variant of quickselect, the median of medians algorithm, chooses pivots more carefully, ensuring that the pivots are near the middle of the data, and thus has guaranteed linear time a euro worst case O, N. This same pivot strategy can be used to construct a variant of quickselect with worst case O, N, time. However, the overhead of choosing the pivot is significant, so this is generally not used in practice. More abstractly, given a worst case O, N, selection algorithm, one can use it to find the ideal pivot at every step of quicksort, producing a variant with worst case O, and log N, running time. 
In practical implementations this variant is considerably slower on average, but it is of theoretical interest, showing how an optimal selection algorithm can yield an optimal sorting algorithm. Variants There are four well-known variants of quicksort, balanced quicksort, choose a pivot likely to represent the middle of the values to be sorted, and then follow the regular quicksort algorithm. External quicksort, the same as regular quicksort except the pivot is replaced by a buffer. First, read the m slash two first and last elements into the buffer and sort them. Read the next element from the beginning or end to balance writing. If the next element is less than the least of the buffer, write it to available space at the beginning. If greater than the greatest, write it to the end. Otherwise write the greatest or least of the buffer, and put the next element in the buffer. Keep the maximum lower and minimum upper keys written to avoid resorting middle elements that are in order. When done, write the buffer. Recursively sort the smaller partition, and loop to sort the remaining partition. This is a kind of three-way quicksort in which the middle partition represents a sorted subarray of elements that are approximately equal to the pivot. Three-way radix quicksort is a combination of radix sort and quicksort. Pick an element from the array and consider the first character of the string. Partition the remaining elements into three sets, those whose corresponding character is less than, equal to, and greater than the pivot's character. Recursively sort the less than, and greater than partitions on the same character. Recursively sort the equal to partition by the next character. Given we sort using bytes or words of length w bits, the best case is O, K N, and the worst case O, 2 K N, or at least O, N 2, as for standard quicksort, given for unique keys N less than 2 K, and K is a hidden constant in all standard comparison sort algorithms including quicksort. This is a kind of three-way quicksort in which the middle partition represents a sorted subarray of elements that are exactly equal to the pivot. Quick radix sort parallel pram algorithm. This is again a combination of radix sort and quicksort, but the quicksort left-right partition decision is made on successive bits of the key, and is thus O, K N, for N K bit keys. Note that all comparison sort algorithms effectively assume an ideal K of O, log N, as if K is smaller, we can sort in O, N, using a hash table or integer sorting, and if K log N but elements are unique within O, log N, Bits, the remaining bits will not be looked at by either quicksort or quick radix sort, and otherwise all comparison sorting algorithms will also have the same overhead of looking through O, K, relatively useless bits but quick radix sort will avoid the worst case O, N2, behaviors of standard quicksort and quick radix sort, and will be faster even in the best case of those comparison algorithms under these conditions of unique prefix, K, log N. See powers for further discussion of the hidden overheads in comparison, radix and parallel sorting. Generalization, Richard Cole and David C. Candethel, in 2004, discovered a one-parameter family of sorting algorithms, called partition sorts, which on average perform at most comparisons and operations. At worst they perform comparisons. These are in place, requiring only additional space. Practical efficiency and smaller variance in performance were demonstrated against optimized quicksorts. See also, intrasort, flashsort, notes. References, Sedgwick, are implementing quicksort programs. Com. ACM 21, 847 a Euro 857 doi, 10.1145-359619.3596310, a Dean. BCA Simple Expected Running Time Analysis for Randomized Divide and Conquer Algorithms. Discrete Applied Mathematics 154, 1 Euro 5 DOI, 10.1016 JDAM. 2005.07.005A, HAW, CAR Algorithm 63, Partition. Com. ACM 4, 321 DOI. 10.1145-366622.36664 a Hall, CAR Algorithm 64, Quicksort. Com. ACM 4, 321 DOI, 
10.1145-366622.36664 Hall, CAR Algorithm 65, Find. Com. ACM4, 321 a Euro 322 DOI, 10.1145-366622.36664 A, Hall, CAR Quicksort. Compute J5, 10 a Euro 16 DOI, 10 10.10935.1.10 A, Musser, David or Introspective Sorting and Selection Algorithms. Software, Practice and Experience 27, 983 a Euro 993 DOI, 10.1002 slash, SICI, 1097-024x, 199708, 278 less than 983 AIDSPE 117 greater than 3.0 CO. Tua, Donald Muth. The Art of Computer Programming, Volume 3, Sorting and Searching, 3rd Edition. Addison Wesley, 1997. ISBN 0-201-89685-0. Pages 113 a Euro 122 of Section 5.2.2, Sorting by Exchanging. Thomas H. Corman, Charles E. Lesserson, Ronald L. Revist, and Clifford Stein. Introduction to Algorithms, Second Edition. MIT Press in McGraw-Hill, 2001. ISBN 0-262-03293-7. Chapter 7, Quicksort, PPA 145 a Euro 164. A. Lamarca and Ari Ladner. The Influence of Cash is on the Performance of Sorting. Proceedings of the 8th Annual ACM Siam Symposium on Discrete Algorithms, 1997 PPA 370 a Euro 379. Baron Muller. Analysis of Quicksort. CS332, Designing Algorithms. Department of Computer Science, Swansea University. Martinez, C. Rohr, S. Optimal Sampling Strategies in Quicksort and Quickselect. Siam J. Kanput. 31, 683 a Euro 705 DOI. 10.1137 per second 00975397003821080, Bentley, J. L. McElroy, MD Engineering Assault Function. Software, Practice and Experience 23, 1249 a Euro 1265. DOI, 10.1002 slash SPEF 4380231105A, External Links. Animated Sorting Algorithms, Quick Sort A Euro Graphical Demonstration and Discussion of Quick Sort, Animated Sorting Algorithms, Three-Way Partition Quick Sort A Euro Graphical Demonstration and Discussion of Three-Way Partition Quick Sort, Interactive Tutorial for Quick Sort, Quick Sort Applet with Level Order Recursive Calls to Help Improve Algorithm Analysis, Open Data Structures, Section 11.1.2, Quick Sort, Literate implementations of Quicksort in various languages on literate programs, a colored graphical Java applet, which allows experimentation with initial state and show statistics, and in place, stable Quicksort which runs in O, and log N log N, time.